Today, we are making soup beans. Soup beans. Don't get much better than soup beans. I hope to God you're making some salt bacon and some cornbread then. Yep. All right. Beans, I put them in yesterday and let them soak overnight so that they had a chance to Did you clump up. Oh, yeah. You have to Is any rocks? No rocks, but a lot, of, a lot of broken beans. I've started, I've never, I haven't found a rock in how many years? I haven't seen a rock in 30 years. <laughs> it had to be at least 30 years. We were kids last time I saw a rock in me. Yeah, it's... But uh, why is that? I mean, used to... I remember in Corbin, you'd go through and you'd sort... And it was there's, there's routine. Little, I mean, you spread them out and you'd find them. Yeah. I mean... Oh, yeah. I don't know what to do. It's got to be technology, maybe. The sifters. The sifters that they use catch them. And cameras better. and all that. It has to be. Because, yeah, there's, like these know, bags. Yeah, man, I've... I have kind of looked around before, and I know people think I'm weird, but I'm kind of like peeking in sometimes in bags, and people are probably thinking, "Yeah, we're trying, trying to find good beans." Yeah, like no. there's. No, I'm trying ones. to see if I can ever find a rock. All right, these are coming. Well, these are going to get drained now. So, how long you've been uh, soaking those? Overnight. So, so they've been these soaking. have been soaking for quite a while. Oh, that's a nice color. Yeah, these are these ones I got at Kroger are darker than a lot. Of, there, was, there was yeah, mom's were lighter. You can get them. They had them both ways, but yeah. I like the darker yeah. pinto beans. Yeah. I, rinse that out. I didn't know what the difference was when we were kids. I mean, I remember sometimes when moms were darker and then they had a, a much lighter tan color sometimes. I don't know what the difference is either, to be honest with you. I just remember it's, uh, as I got older, I'd said, uh, but you remember soup beans and cornbread? That's what they look like. They're just on the table. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me clean that mess up, I'm making a mess. Um, and they'd be like soup beans. I said, "Yeah, soup beans." And they're like, "What are soup beans?" And uh, got it. Um, and it's like pinto beans. Yeah. And they're like, "Why would you call them soup beans?" I said, "Well, they were made into soup." It's kind of like a soup. Kinda, yeah. yeah, it's a soupy mixture. A lot of people call that liquor, pot liquor. Oh, really? That's what some people call the. Anytime you cook something, you got you make. A lot of liquid out of it, out of fat and whatever you cooked in there. They call it pot liquor. I thought pot liquor was what Dad made in the still. <laughs> that was the other, that's the other kind of hmm. pot liquor. I'm going to put this on. Which is funny because if you know anything about Corbin, when we grew up, it was a dry county. So yeah. you were... <laughs> Nowadays, There's no liquor ever there. <laughs> nope, no, no liquor here. No, none to be found. The other thing we've got today is cut. salt pork. Let me see if you can see that. Lower. There you go. That's perfect. Salt pork. I got that at Kroger's. I'm sure they got it just about anywhere. It's not yeah. easy to find is what she was. Basically, it's a salt cured bacon is what it is. Yeah, we, so, we only knew it as salt bacon. Yeah. I, I mean, I, when you said salt pork, it's like, what is that? So what we're going to do is pull some of this out of here. While their beans are just sitting over there, they've already plumped up a little bit. I'm going to wash it a little bit because it's, as it's I recall, super salty. It's pretty salty. Yeah, it is super salty. This leaner than I remember. I know. It's a lot leaner. Before it had one and maybe two little strips of um, lean on it. The rest of it was all fat. Right. But it brings back memories. Yep. And it's thicker than regular bacon, too. Yeah. It seems like the other was a little bit thicker, too, when we were kids. Right. Now this is thicker than oh, what some you of the store now. That, that first slice was just really thinner. Can I move your move this or does it matter? Doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Yeah, I remember mom used to make yeah, this. This one's nice and fatty. There. Yeah, that's a good fatty piece. Because what we're wanting more than anything out of this is to render the fat out of there to cook in with our beans so they get some flavor in the process. Yeah. Yeah. And Salt you, bacon. You can do it without rinsing them, but I'm just rinsing them because I know they're salty. It was salty, but I like salt. So, growing up, I loved salt. Yep. We used to go get plain hamburgers and stuff, and would just get them and load them. You could see the white on top of them. Yeah, it's bad. It was not a good thing. But I'm lucky I don't have like major, major high blood pressure because of that. I guess probably. I mean, it's one of those things that's probably not healthy, but. Yeah, probably a lot, of, a lot of things we did as kids probably are not healthy. Oh, I'm sure of that. So that's that's 12 ounces in one of these little things of salt pork. Yeah. Let me move out of your way. Let me grab Man. a... Man. Uh, one of my spoons. 
I didn't get a spoon out or nothing. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, what do they call it? Salt, salt, salt pork. pork. They call it salt, salt pork. But yeah, if you're from Corbin, you probably knew it as salt bacon. So same thing. It just, uh, like I said, some of it looks a little leaner than I'm used to. Right. But hey, it is what it is. But, you know, it's funny, you know, just talking about this. It's, right. You don't get no more southern than uh, soup beans and cornbread. You just don't. Right. I mean, um, that's... That's where it's at. So, that's... It came up in a subject. Remember when we were talking the other day? We were with a couple of people from south, and it was like, you know you were raised in the south if... You know, you go down that list, and, and, and that's different to everybody. Oh, yeah. We're, we need to put that up, um, what people would finish that sentence with. You were born in the South if whatever. What would ours be? Well, there's so many. Outhouse is the first thing I think of. Right, well, yeah, not having indoor plumbing. Yeah. So we didn't have, so we were always using the well. Yep. And we, we used to fight over because we were little. Oh, I love lowering that thing down. Taking the, the well that had a big... Oh, Galvanized yeah. tube. Yeah, the tube that goes down in the it well. It was the coolest thing ever. And you pull it up, and you pull the little thing, and the water drop into the bucket. Oh, it was the neatest the bucket, thing ever. And it was like you keep the bucket in the house with a dipper. Dipper. <laughs> yeah. But ours was just an old galvanized. Ours was galvanized. This is, I just found this. That's Let me, cool. I'm going to give me a sip of water here. In my dipper. Would you like a drink? No, I'll let you go for it. Doesn't taste nothing well, like well water. There's something about well water. I like well water. It uh, was it was like a sweet taste. I liked it. Yeah, there's been a few places over the years I've had well water. Yeah. And it tastes completely, it's completely different, different than city water. But it brings back memories. I saw that oh, and I yeah. had to get that. It was like, even though it wasn't what we had, ours was galvanized. Right, but still, it's a, it's a but different. same lady, I'll show you this, I, which I've never seen before. You ever seen one of the flat front? Oh, it's intentionally flat. Yeah, it's not pressed like that. Huh. So I guess if you're cooking in a square or whatever. I guess it goes up tighter to the edge. Yeah. So you get it. that one ain't going to. Yeah. Let me see if I can show that. that. Yeah, it's weird. I've never Maybe seen one Maybe somebody's seen that. Please, if you have ever seen, I've never seen one of these my entire life. There's got to be a reason for it, and I'm assuming it's just to get tighter to the side. Is that camera all right? Can you peek at it, and I'll scoot that around for a second? Was it not, not, not It's got a little it? message on it, but. Got some kind of message? But isn't that crazy? A flat end. Very uh, interesting little little deal. Does that mean anything? I don't think so. It's right here for fine control of the zoom. Is it all right? Hopefully it's all right. We'll find out. We'll find out all right. But you can't really see anything through this video anyway. Yeah. Because this is just, we're shooting into it. The, only reason, I, the reason I use this is because I need the fat for the beans. And we'd already used this pot to soak the beans in. Yeah. So ordinarily you could fry this up in a skillet. Well, I didn't feel like getting out another skillet and having two two dishes to clean at the end. Oh, that sounds familiar. The lazy approach. Yeah, make it simple. But I, I, I probably should have washed this before I used it. Well, you now you wash it. You lick the dirt <laughs> off. I'm sure we drank worse. <laughs> oh, it, yeah. It's so funny when you think about that bucket, the water bucket. What Every, did you do to clean it off? You swirled it around in there. Yeah. You got your dipper out. Everybody else coming in. Everybody used their dipper. drink and... Went rolling off of them, take yep. a drink, throw it back in the bucket. Yep. So you know it was not the most sanitary thing. But in you the know, world. it's that whole thing. My one daughter's a, a pharmacist, and, and, and right. she said that's why kids get so sick, and that's why we're allergic to so much stuff because we don't eat enough dirt and nasty stuff. Right. We live stuff. in a sanitized world, like, like a gut load or something. Right. You get in there of yeah. bacteria that you need to keep you healthy. Right. So yeah, we just everybody drank out of that. They had a cold, and they drank out of it. I don't remember anybody not. You drank out of the bucket. Yeah. I don't remember anybody, even if they didn't feel good, going and pouring it in a glass. No. What do we use for glasses? Jelly jars. <laughs> Flintstone jelly jars. That's right. Now, that was because of the age we are. Yeah. Prior to that, before we were over, actually, when I was real little, they had, I think, Davy Crockett and Howdy, well, when I, before I was born, they Howdy had Howdy Doody. Doody. Yeah. Then they had the Davy Crockett. Then came the Flintstones for a lot of years, yeah. and then after that, I think it was Tom and Jerry yeah. and the Archie. They've done that for years yeah, those, and years and years. I, we had those Flintstones jelly jars for glasses That's all for about as, as long as I can remember. It was like 
Talk about the uh, green movement. We had it in, in the South before it ever got popular. Right. Oh, you just right. reused stuff. Well, back in those days, there was the whole issue that you had where they gave away stuff at the grocery store and at gas stations Yep. where you'd get glasses yep. or you'd get steak I knives. Remember. Yeah, they did. So, like, I think Rochelle used to have steak knives, and you'd go in with a fill-up, you'd get a steak knife. And when she got four or five or six steak knives, whatever the number was, there was a thing that says, send the little sleeve that the knife blade was in, in, to get a carving knife to go with the set. Oh, wow, I didn't remember yeah. that. I yeah. remember getting the steak knives. Yeah. Because they gave them to you right then and there. Instant gratification. Yeah. It was on your fill-up. You, do you remember? I don't know if you got You know what my first set of china was when I got married? It was, was it does? <laughs> does China? The, 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 golden, free, the golden wheat pattern? The, the free from the grocery store. Oh, those. Those. Well, those there, there was also back in those days, I was just going nostalgia here. Sorry. Probably, was does dishwashing detergent, or not dishwashing. Where it was inside of them? There was, there was pieces that came inside yep. does dishwasher, or di dove washing detergent. Yep, that's old. And people would collect those, and once they got a set, they'd... Once they got their set, they'd put them away in a hope chest for their oh. daughters and granddaughters mm -hmm. and whatever. My first set of china when I got married was from mom, and it was from her collecting it at the grocery store. Yep. A lot of people did that. Well, there they, was they gave it away, didn't they? It was either, if you bought so much, it was either free or like 99 cents for okay. a place setting. Well, she got me whatever service for, what do you, eight or something? Eight or something so, like yeah. That? Yeah, I think a service for eight. But, but it was all free or yeah let's like say 99 cents but it was the entire set right the grocery store giveaways i remember going into the, the grocery store with her and seeing those big displays with all the pieces stacked around. yeah and this, i think it was a place setting with each week if you bought x amount it was and free she bought groceries and then they had all the extra pieces you could buy to, to complete the set yeah yeah that's funny it's if you funny. remember any of that shoot us a little message because that's that stuff's collectible now. Yeah, I, I bet it is. I wonder if mine's still around. <laughs> I, I know that first wife's not still around. <laughs> well, she's still around. She's still around. around here. She ain't around here. <laughs> and if she hasn't, she ain't going to give it to you. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Especially if she watches this video. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff came from Kroger's? Huh? I'm angry. Your mom's friendly. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> My big wedding present. My good china. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Nowadays, ooh. people go, no, I want that Noritake and the stuff yeah. that they go. My kids, as they got older, would like, when they would, well, actually, only, actually, none of my kids are married. <laughs> oh, they all got smart. But uh, there were other nieces and nephews and other kids would, along the way, <laughs> post up and go, oh, I, I'm registered here, I'm registered there. Oh. And you go look at the, the, the yeah. registry and you're like, how much? Yeah. A place setting? You know. 40 or 50 dollars for a place setting of this stuff and you're like oh my god yeah that's crazy and a lot more than 99 yeah. cents yeah yeah that's what i'm always looking for they got any cheap yeah, what, you know what, what, flintstones tumblers yeah. <laughs> tell you what this is double duty you get the jelly yeah. and drink glass <laughs> wouldn't that be great yeah. show up a little case of eight we got you eight glasses and yeah. eight jellies yeah <laughs> that would be a hit if you don't like jelly We'll take it back home. Yeah. You didn't wash it and bring one for you. They're all washed up, ready to go. Yeah. Enjoy. But seriously, folks, please, uh, we'll, we'll try and put it up on, on Facebook and all that. <coughs> but we would really love to know uh, from you, you know, finish out that sentence. You were raised in the South if whatever. Um, you know, I could go on forever. I could just go down our list. But, you know, I... Uh, our house, do you remember it had, I know you remember, I'm younger, but I remember it had four, the only four walls were the exterior walls. We oh, never yeah. had a wall inside that house. Oh, yeah, I mean, you'd hang a, a clothesline inside and put a sheet across it to get privacy off the one yeah. room. Yeah. And uh, so what else? It had a pot-bellied stove that yep. we burnt coal. We didn't get good coal. No. We had what was called a slag pile where we'd buy the cheap coal, the leavings from the coal mine that was too crappy to sell commercially so people around there could get that's popping really good now yeah it is um let me throw a lid on there just to keep us from getting well if you know anything about cormone that's like 
grandpa, our grandpa worked in coal mines, right? Did Earl? Earl worked Earl in the coal was, mines. Yeah. Briefly, I, 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 I was doing some research and saw in the census that he would worked in the coal mines. Yeah. When he was 18. Man. So, but yeah, there was the coal mines down there, and uh, you know, our grandfather worked there, and then Earl worked there. I don't know if any of the others worked in the mines or yep. not. I just happened to see that in the You just heard the stories. I remember hearing them. That's oh. dangerous work. That I, I say dangerous. thank you folks that work in coal mines. We, yeah. the, the country owes you a massive favor. Coal oh, miners, exactly. man. They, that's a risky, hard work. And oh, man, definitely. so much appreciate all your hard work there. Thank you. You know, you make America run. And that's what... Well, that's looking good, man. And you can see if you can see that. No, you can't see anything. Oh, you there. can't. Oh, too bad. Hey, can we pull it over this direction just for a second? Just, I'd love to be able to see how that's drying up, if you don't mind. And I'll tell you when you get there. Just scoot the whole thing over. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's looking good. Got it? Good, thank you. That's hot. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah. We want to take a break real quick? I guess they probably don't want to hear us rambling on about the old days. We can take a break real briefly and come back as soon as our bacon comes out. we got to save some of these stories for the nursing home. <laughs> when we visit or when we get there? What? what? Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> Thank you. We're taking a break. Yep, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. All right. I just pulled the salt pork out of there. Let me look. Oh, yeah, that's it, man. We just... I'm gonna, we're not gonna even lie to you. We just broke off a little piece and it is. Yeah, it's good. I'm telling you, if, if, if you're our age or around there or older, man, I'm telling you, that little bite just flooded oh. memories. Yep. It, it, did it you? I mean, yeah. I'm oh, serious. Yeah. It's like, it's like our parents passed away when they were really young. So it's kind of a heartbreaking story. Both of them passed away at 61 years old. So God, I miss my mom and dad so much. They were the greatest parents on the planet. Yep. And, uh, Dude, I just... so it brings back those floods of memories. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna stop. Um, yeah. We just threw a, a whole yeah. onion I diced up in here just to get some more flavor into the beans and we threw it into that hot grease and it's just gonna make them transparent. And then we're gonna add back in, or we're gonna add our beans that we've let drain over here and then cover it with water and then we're gonna put them over onto the stove and let them cook for till they're soft. I, I, I That's gonna take a while, an hour or two probably at least. Yeah, you just kind of check them and see when. But you gotta watch when they get the point where you can mash them. Once you can mash them up, then they're basically ready. So, am I, are are we saying that you're gonna make some cornbread? Because you're going to make cornbread while that's making, obviously. Yeah, I'm, well, that's cooking. I mean, it'd yeah. be a different video. Right. I mean, we'll get it on the website, but yes. Will we picture it up, though, at the end, maybe? With some cornbread? Yeah, well, we'll okay. see that one, too. By the time we get the... Man, I want to grab a piece of salt bacon so bad. I have one more. By the time we get the beans done... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll split it with you. By the time we get the beans done, the cornbread should be easily done, because cornbread only takes about a half hour. I'll give you half this meat part. Sorry. Apologize. Yeah, getting the whole thing. So our, I know I got a comment oh, about Eaton's distracting. Well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the comment, <laughs> but I like Eaton. <laughs> Thank you for your opinion. It's, it's well attended, but totally ignored. Mm. Just so you can see. Salt pork. So you can see it. They, they cook see that? It down. Yeah. That's cooking down well. Let me, let me ask you this. Okay. Since we're talking about pork, what do you get when you play tug of war? With a pig. I don't know. Pulled pork. <laughs> oh, God. That's bad. That's really. That's, that's so bad. Y you know, I got that from one of the preschoolers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm honest. Yep. I'm, gonna, uh, no, I'm you're, honest. You're blaming it on the kids. Thank you, Owen. <laughs> I didn't have a good joke today, but. It worked. I still didn't. <laughs> yeah, I still didn't have a good joke. Owen didn't come through like he should have. So, you're going to drop these beans in with this? Yep. All right. Let's go see. Do you have to put water or anything in there with them? Yeah, but once we get the beans in, we're going to cover them with water. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing off. You're going to put this on the real stove, I'm going to put it over on the real stove because we're going to need to have this counter can, here. Can I get me up a spoonful? <laughs> yeah, you can. Ladleful? Probably wouldn't be a good thing. Dipperful, whatever you want to call it. 
And we're going to put in just enough water to cover them by. That's hot as heck. It's got to be hot. I was going to say, I'm glad I'm not doing it. Like I said before, these model hands, hand models, a hard job. You can't get hurt. Mom used to have these on that stove, it seemed like, for eternity. Yeah, it takes a while. And a little bit more. So, do we put any of this in there? We can. Do we? So we've, no. we've got all the grease in there. Yeah. That oh, out of it's them. the same thing. So we're going to take a couple of these really fatty pieces. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. That's enough. Oh, God. <laughs> if you like salt bacon, oh, my gosh. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> yep. Right. I have wanted salt bacon for so long, but nobody knew what on earth I was talking about when I went to the grocery. Where did you, where'd you find this? It's a Kroger, of all places. Really? Yeah. I thought, well, maybe because I said salt bacon. Right. The guy had no idea what I was talking about. This one here. Oh, oh my gosh. So, I am like down memory lane here in my head. Shoo. Apologize. And we're going to leave it on low, let it simmer there, because it's already pretty hot. So, okay. we're going to leave that go, and we'll be back when those are ready to come off the stove for the end of this video. By then, we'll have made some cornbread and... We'll play a little pulled pork. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I better put your food styling back up yeah. there. Sorry, Well, Owen. thank you. It didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we're taking a break? Yep, we're taking a break. All right, we're back. back. Yep. It's been... I'm hungry. Three hours. Yeah. So three, three hours, hours of cooking. beans cooking. And they look good. We made up a bit more. Here it is. Salt pork. Salt yeah, we pepper. had to. Your kids walked up and they're like, they had never tried this before, had they? Nope. And they were like, man, what is that? So try I'll, I'll move it over this way, you think? Yep. If you haven't tried salt bacon, salt pork, whatever you want to call it, this stuff is delicious. Brings back memories. Like Let me come over here and show this to the other camera. Oh. There's the soup beans. Mm-mm. We'll put them right there. They're hot, so be careful. Um, everything's turned off? Yep. Okay. So now, uh, I don't know about you, but I need some cornbread, and I put it on my plate. Well, can I have this piece that's around the edge? Yeah. I'll put mine... I like mine separate. I like mine crumbled. Mm -hmm. And... We need, oh, I like, oh, you want onion? Uh, no, nah, I don't want onion. Dad Seriously. always ate, he'd eat that like an apple. Yeah. He'd have an onion and a piece of onion. I always put that on there. I know, you eat mayonnaise, and too. I put mayonnaise on it. I don't eat mayonnaise, either. I like, I just eat, uh, no, no talk from the peanut gallery. Oh, look at that. Here, here. Oh, man, my kids would lose it. <laughs> they would lose it. They inherited the not liking mayonnaise from me. So we got the mayonnaise in there. Now we need a. We use this one. <laughs> yeah, here. Use the use the flat side. Yeah, one. don't use my water dipper. Oh, that's your water dipper. We stir that up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Do you want it beside them? Yeah, beside. I like. I like a little separation. Does that work for you? Yeah. Now I like mine. I'm pushing mine over, over here. Top of my... I want me some good old salt bacon. And some more salt bacon. And a little more salt bacon. Let me see if I can see this. Because that is a thing of beauty. Beautiful. I'm going to go to the other one, Mike. Yeah, go for it. Um, how do you do this? Oh, i got to raise it up like that. Look at that. I don't want to dump my food out, but if you can see that, ooh, ooh, look at that salt bacon on there. Some soup beans, cornbread. He's smashing his up already. That's the way you make it. I know, but mine was, I was trying to keep it pretty so you didn't, oh man, look at that. That salt. beautiful bean, what is it? Uh, beautiful bean footage. Beautiful bean footage, yeah, <laughs> couldn't think of the name of that. Now there is the way you're supposed to have oh, man. your soup beans. Yeah. With an onion, well, with some mayonnaise, over to cornbread. You want to try this? Yeah, I'm eating it now. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. A little cornbread, onion. 
Salt bacon. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I can feel myself getting fatter by the second. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm back in the hills. Oh my gosh. You know we ought to wrap this up because I'm actually hungry. I'm real hungry. And after somebody's saying mm. something about me eating on camera, <laughs> I don't want to... Yeah, you should stop eating so you can talk. I don't want to embarrass myself. So I probably should put my plate down. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of work making these beans. Three hours plus. Mm -hmm. Stuff in your face, man. Come on. I'm hungry. We're on camera. Oh, oh, I forgot. Let me repeat again. If you were raised in the South, you, you know you was raised in the South if certain things. So send us some responses. I gotta watch, I'm gonna spit food out of them, so. Well, don't spit on mine. Yeah, just don't tell your kids. But uh, please shoot us out some. You know our little outhouse stories and yep. indoor plumbing and all that craziness. You can either comment on the yeah, videos that. or comment on Facebook or go post a, a, a comment on seniorskillet.com. That would be the best bet, wouldn't it? Any of the above. Yeah, they're all yeah. good. Well, if they go to Senior Skillet, they're able to browse. And look at all the different recipes yeah. we got. Because that's what uh, the person that us referred to had only saw us on mm -hmm. Facebook. You're and then they ended up looking over to see the pictures. Man, you're stuffing your face. If you're going to keep jamming, I'm going to keep eating. All right, let's... Now I'm stopping. Okay, let's let's wrap this up so we can eat, man. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you say? I say salt bacon, two thumbs up. Uh, pinto beans soup, soup beans, soup beans, two thumbs up. And the cornbread, hey, for the person that was complaining about it not being white cornbread. Right. But this is white cornbread. It's white cornbread. No sugar. Just hey, plain cornbread. It soaks up the, the, the pot licking. Yeah. And it's delicious. And I, I, I'm two thumbs up on my little uh, scooper here, too. Yeah, it works good. Isn't that crazy? Squared front. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. We're going to eat. Yep, for sure. Bye.